Hello boys and girls, my name is Fog, spelled H-F-O-G, uh, the H is silent, um, and I thought today I'd uh, experiment with doing a little bit of Let's Play. Uh, we're going to play a Vex map. We're going to play Vex's new super hostile number 11, Leathermere. Uh, I've played several Vex maps in the past, and I thought it would be fun to play yet another one. This one's a little different from him, though. This time he's doing what he calls a continental style map, instead of a... a instead of more of a linear style. Um, I'm not really sure exactly what to expect here, um, other than what I know from his previous maps, although I am going to make a slight confession. I actually did start this earlier, but my sound levels were so far off that I decided to start over and save you all the pain of having to listen to really bad audio. Uh, in case you can't, in case you haven't noticed, it's raining, and uh, rain really plays havoc with the audio. I'm hoping I got the game sounds turned down loud enough, uh, down far enough to uh, make this more of a pleasurable experience. So I do know a little bit about what I'm going into, but not a whole lot, because uh, I never got all that far. I just went far enough to realize, oh hey, the audio is really bad, and I need to redo it. So anyway, uh, let's take a look at. Uh, Leathermere here. And uh, let's dive right in. So we appear to be on this wooden platform adjacent to a continent. We see mobs, it looks like it's early morning. Let's see what we can do. I think maybe I've got the game sounds turned down a little too soft, but nah, I can I can hear. Hopefully the rain will stop pretty soon, and then we won't have to uh, listen to that constant drone. I'll be able to tweak the audio levels again. So anyway, let's gather some wood and get moving. I happen to... Uh... Ooh, what have we here? Let's go take a look down here. Is this a sunken ship? I think it is. By the way, he did something a little different with this one. Instead of releasing one map, Vex has released four. Um, this is Leathermere map B. He's also released maps A, C, and D. Um, each map is slightly different uh, in that he's randomized the loot in the different chests. So if you wanted to play this yourself and, and uh, not worry about having any spoilers, then, uh, oh look, yes, this is definitely a sunken ship. This must be the bow here. Anyway, in case you wanted to play it yourself without any spoilers, uh, play level, play maps uh, A or C or D, and then you won't have to worry about uh, being uh, knowing ahead of time what's in any of the chests. So here we have. Typical Vex starting area, and let's get a sword ready because I happen to know that we've got a bad guy up ahead, and I don't want to mess with him. Uh, oh, lovely! Cheaty stacking axes. All right. Okay, let's go get that. Yeah, you can't hit me. And we have a creeper. Yeah, it would be raining. Alright, let's read the sign. Welcome to Super Hostile number 11, Leathermare by Vex. Rules, and this is the normal rules for a Vex map. Find and complete the Victory Monument. Use at least easy, never peaceful. Well, as you can tell from my uh, health bar down below, <laughs> we don't have a choice. This is locked at Hostile. Uh, do not uh, locked at uh, hardcore. Sorry. Do not leave the map boundaries. Find woolen chests. Don't use sheep, dye, spider silk, etc. Survive in any way you can think of, and you may craft the metal blocks for the victory monument, and so on. 
Uh, this is my first continental style map, he says. It's mostly about surviving and exploring, although it has a fair, its fair share of dungeons. Special thanks to Camu for the randomizer programs. If your friend plays variant A, you should try B or C, or D, which he fails to list. Uh, the loot chests and spawners are randomized. While I can control what can spawn, I have no idea what actually is in each chest or spawner. The different ladder versions have different loot spawns. For example, 1.0a and 1.0b have different random loot. Yes, I think we get the idea. And we're already getting hungry. I think job one is going to be to find some food. And it also might be a good idea to get some wool. We're gonna. Ooh, spider, where are you? I think beneath us. Oh, yeah, definitely beneath us. Die, cow. Ooh. Hmm. Yeah, sure. Let's see what's under here. You gotta think that uh, he's put a little bit of clay here for a reason. And it would be very nice to find some wood and some stone. Actually, what would really be nice is iron. Okay, well, that's stone. And I don't have a pick, so let's get a pick. <clears throat> hmm. We're going to need wood, and we're going to need it soon. stone as well, so let's take care of that. Okay, so that'll get us a stone pick and another stone sword and a stone shovel. And I was kind of expecting to find a little more than that kind of stuff underneath there, but fine, we'll live with that. I think it's more important that I find a source of lumber before we go any farther. <clears throat> Sorry, I got something in my throat there. All right. So let's go find food. Let's go find food and let's go find lumber. Because we're going to need those right away. Until we've got a sustainable wood source, we're going to be in a world of hurt. Get back here, cow. All right, I like I like beef because beef won't poison your hunger bar. Always a good thing. Uh, this is a cave. Nope, just water. Oh, and there we have lumber. All right, let's go get some wood, and then we'll figure out where to go next. Now, in his notes on on the Minecraft forums, Vex uh, has said that, oh, how nice, the weather has stopped. Uh, in his notes at the Minecraft forums, he, Vex has said that he kind of intends this to be more like a normal Let's Play map. Um, but I'm going to kind of resist the urge to build a house and whatnot. Instead, I think I'm going to concentrate on exploration. We'll kind of be nomadic here. Because, to me, that's a lot more fun. Um, I mean, I don't, I don't play a, a Vex map to you know, build a house or dig a deep cave or any of that kind of thing. I'm much more interested in 
Ooh, we have a zombie. Yeah, we'll just keep an eye on him. He'll come after us soon enough. And yeah, there he comes. Yeah, hello. You don't scare me. Look at that. One at a time, they're pretty easy. It's really only the skeletons that worry me, and they don't worry me that much either. Um, particularly once you get armored up. Once you get armored up, they're not a big deal. So let's chop down some trees, get some wood. Get ourselves situated here. But like I said, I think I'm going to play this more nomadic than uh, than a normal let's play. And uh, that I think will be a lot more entertaining. I know it will be for me anyway. Um, we do need to keep in mind that we're playing in hardcore mode. So, something to be a little bit wary of it is certainly uh, in our best interests to tread a little bit carefully here. Uh, let's get ourselves a shovel. And, boy, we get a lot of crap in here, don't we? I probably ought to do something about that. But, oh, and here comes the night. So we'll just sleep out here in the open, sword at the ready. There we go. That's become a lot safer than it used to be. It used to be if you slept outdoors, you were pretty well guaranteed to get ambushed in the middle of the night. But that seems to have changed. Um, I'm not really sure when that change took place, but I've noticed that recently you don't really need to worry about setting up a bed out at night as long as you don't wait too long. You want to do it early enough that... Yes, I hear you. You want to do it early enough that mobs haven't had a chance to spawn. But uh, as long as you're careful, it's really not a big deal. I only have six. Okay, before I go wander off into the woods, let's go kill some more cows. Well, okay, maybe not. Maybe we'll kill some creepers instead. You can blow it for me? Oh yeah, there you go. Two for one. Oh, no, he didn't die. He's a resilient little booger. Come on. Hey, you gotta love the new pathfinding. Oh, that's a wolf. Let's go get a wolf. Because I think I have a bone, don't I? I do. It'll be a long shot, but it'll be fun. We'll try it. Yeah, I hear the skeleton. I don't know where he is, though. And I'm not really interested in tangling with him. Where did that wolf go? There he is. Okay, here you go. Oh, that was a long shot. But there we go. We now have a friend. Hey there, pooch. Come on, let's take a look around and see what else we have. Ooh, it looks like we found something over here. What is that? Hmm. That looks like a giant tree. Oh yeah. That's that's got to be a dungeon of some sort. That's got to be. But until I've got armor, I don't really think I want to tangle with the woods. I'm not really fond of wandering through woods around a dungeon area because um it's too easy to get ambushed. Oh, that's a pumpkin. Yeah, and so what do I do? I, I go right into the woods. <laughs> All right. Hello. Yeah, die. Give me some more XP. Speaking of XP, whoops, hello skeleton. Give me your give me your bones. And he did. Thank you, sir. Appreciate that. Alright, what was I saying? Oh yeah, speaking of XP, we have these bottles of enchanting. Um 
I'm kind of torn about whether or not I should use that right away. Um, obviously, we're playing hardcore mode, so using them isn't really going to be a penalty. You know, it's not like it's not like I'm worried about dying and losing all of that XP because you know, if we die, we're going to lose the whole game anyway. So who cares? However, I am a little worried. I am a little worried that using that now. Oops, spider, let's get some string. I'm a little worried that using that right now, before I actually have an enchanting table, I could get my XP level up really high, making it harder to advance levels. Um, you know, because the level system works on a graduated system where you get more levels. I mean, where it becomes harder to get levels as your levels increase. Um, it kind of makes sense to me to hold off on using those until I've got an enchanting table and just use them as a way to you know, quickly get those low levels so I can get some low level enchants. So I think that's what I'm going to do is just hold off on them. Okay, now this is one case where having played this briefly uh, is to my advantage. I'm going to go ahead and take advantage of it. I happen to know that if you dig down here you're eventually going to find some basic raw materials like coal and whatnot. I don't think we're going to find any iron because I think that Vex is probably limited that. And I know the last time I dug a, a mine here, I wasn't able to find any iron. But I do know that if I keep digging here, I probably am going to run into some pockets of coal. And I really need some coal. Uh, this is liable to get a little dark here because I don't have any torches yet. Well, yeah, let's go ahead and fix that. I'll go ahead and make a couple of charcoal torches. Get out of the way, dog. They're kind of a pain sometimes. <laughs> let's see. All right, I've got enough cobblestone now that I can make some torches. I can make an oven. So let's make a couple of ovens here. A couple of furnaces. Plunk you down there and there. And we're going to make some charcoal. And let's just, you know, speed things up a little bit. And I don't think I need very much charcoal, but I do need enough that I can... What the heck? Ooh! Well, what do you know? What do you know? That is the Victory Monument. Wow. Will you look at that? Well, boys and girls, I think we've just found home. Maybe we will build a house here after all. Wow. Huh. Okay, well, in the spirit of the game, we are not going to use the wool we've got from sheep for the Victory Monument, because obviously that would be cheating. But I think we will set up shop here. I am shocked that that's where that is. <laughs> I expected to have to hunt a lot more to find that. I honestly did not know that was there. Somehow in the past, I... Oh gosh, I'm going to die if I go after him right now. Come on. Come on. Let's see, I don't have enough string yet. I really can use a little more string. Thank you, wolf. Thank you, doggy. All right, you I want. Now, I don't know what happened to that skelly. Where'd he go? Jeez. I couldn't possibly have missed him more often if I'd tried. 
Come on. Alright, we need uh, a little more. We need to get our health regen going. Oh, I don't like that sword being so low. I need to make another one. But I don't want to do it until I've taken this guy out. Okay, he's gone. Alright. Let's get our torches going. I don't like being this close to the woods. And you know what we're going to do? We're just going to pack up. We're going to go back to the Victory Monument and we'll set up our home there instead. Because it doesn't make sense for us to uh, make ourselves any more vulnerable than we need to be. Alright, here we go. I am so surprised to find this Victory Monument right here. This was totally unexpected. All right. Well, now that we've found the monument, let's let's build a quick house. Hmm. Uh, how elaborate do I want to be? Not very, to be honest. Let's do. Well, let's start by building just a little fort. Oh, actually, let's not even do that. Let's start by sleeping because night approaches and in a minute we are going to be plunged into darkness all right well let's build a fort we'll worry about making it pretty later or maybe not i mean after all i'm really more than this for the exploration some eggs for me. Yeah, come on. We'll make some half slabs here and cover this with half slabs to prevent spawning on the top. And we'll also light up the middle and the surrounding area a bit. But first thing we ought to do is gather a lot of raw materials. This might get a little boring. So the general idea here, I'm going to build a fort. I'm going to build uh, just a big area, a big wall, you know, in perimeter around the, the monument here. And we'll light up the inside. We'll put half slabs on the top here so that things can't spawn on it. And uh, we'll probably call it good at that. And, uh, you know, maybe we'll add to it as the game progresses, but for now that'll be sufficient. I think I'm going to go ahead and do that all off camera so that you guys don't have to watch. So, anyway, we'll end the episode here. This is about 30 minutes in, so it seems like a good place to end. Wow, I still can't believe we found the Victory Monument. Okay, guys. Well, uh, I'm going to go ahead and build this fort, and I'll talk to you later.